Hi guys, it's Candace. Sorry, had to get my phone straight. All right, we are going to make a gift card holder that was inspired by this foam taggy thing that I have. So now you can just make, I guess we should have just made one like this that make an ornament, but I had to turn it into a card because I thought, well, how can I have this? So like if you give it to somebody, they can maybe have the cute little things set up, set up on their table or desk or whatever. So then of course I had to take a, a simple little project and turn it into something big. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay. So, but this is going to be um, a card that fits in the regular A2 size, which is um, 4.3 by 5.75s. Um, all right. So, now, what I cut my little snowman head out of is this. It's a iridescent table cover. I got it at Walmart. I, I mean, I will have this for like 20 years. <laughs> but... It works so good with Christmas and then or you could use that little uh, fleece snow stuff or even felt like you know this is made out of felt um, but what you know whatever works now the only thing is that this is kind of like in layers you know it's like this clear stuff and then paper so I found it easiest to you know double this up when you're you know cutting it out put a piece of um, card stock on front and a key piece of card stock on back so when you run it through your die cut machine it cuts it all good or even if you punch it it punch it because you you will not be able to punch it as this is unless you have um, backed front and back with um, card so now um, let me I'm gonna glue this on here just so I can put them aside um, so it can dry so we can get ready for our next thing so this is a piece of scrap that I have that came from when I was cutting my cards up and so I'm gonna put my I want my little snowman to be about you know that tall so just cuz I already you know measured it and all the good stuff so let me take these two pieces apart Yeah, and, and it is a little tough to, you know, cut with your scissors, but, well, that's what you get when you want some shine. So, but, I mean, this is really pretty. You can layer it on top of any, you know, like, backing color, and it just really jumps. I mean, that's beautiful on the orange. Okay, so let's, um, well, it's kind of like a burnt orange, but that's all I had laying around for his little nose. So, let me see. My head's going to be this big. I know, I didn't exactly think 100% way through, so let me, I think I want to cut it right there. Oh, I hope y'all having a good day. Whoo, yeah, it's going to be in the 60s today. I, I mean, good grief. This is why everybody stays sick, because this crazy weather, hot, cold, hot, cold. I think we're supposed to be um, our, where we live in the high 60s until maybe this weekend, I think, and then it goes down to the high in the 40s, like 42. And then back in the lows in the 20s. All right, but this is like, you know, a napkin. So if you think napkin, so we got to glue our, our napkin on there just so we still have our texture and all that good stuff. And then I just go around one layer just so you don't see it, see the glue through it, which you really don't because of all the other texture, but we'll be good. Oh, hello. I'm not gluing just to there. Oh, I did. I did it right. Let me just put a little strip down there just because we're going to be hanging some things on it. All right. Now, let me just put underneath my block so we can, so we can set up. And then we're going to do the same thing with, with, well, with our head. 
and as you can tell I didn't get my circle all the way on there but that's okay it's not you're not gonna see it it's underneath all this other stuff my um, other thing is is a complete circle so you can hide a few flaws Man, I'm telling you since I broke that fingernail I have a hard time picking stuff up I mean my nails are tore up winter's always so bad on me because I'm not a oily skin type person and in the winter I just really my my hands get really dry especially playing with paper oh y'all know it just soaks the moisture out and then you can't really put a lot of lotion on because then you mess up with your um on your paper you get little your little fingerprints on there so I know the dilemma I gotta start putting that chapstick on it at night I gotta find me some cotton gloves <laughs> like they do with babies uh, all right let me put my this head underneath here to dry and remove my other head because I had one head underneath there drying all right so let's let's do our little base cutting now oh, let's do the difficult one first okay so what I did is I um, well first I just took some 65 pound cardstock um, cut it in half because this is eight and a half by eleven so I cut it in half five and a quarter because that's your standard um, little card and then I pr um, had some paper that um, you know in case you can't digital print you um, just have to use you know your regular design paper so we're going to do this one this way first and then I thought well how about um, printing it you know digitally print it save a step well then I thought how about digitally print it and print it on front and back well that didn't work so well because you end up with directional patterns well I did on one so then instead of getting two cards per paper per sheet you could only get one per sheet and not you know that's that's a little wasteful even though you get a lot of tags and stuff that you know parts that left over that you can use for tags but I mean you want to you know get two cards per print so um, don't use directional um, patterns if you're gonna print it front and back to save you all of this step and if you um, can't print well then this is gonna work just great for you so let's put some glue on the back I know I'm supposed to be using I'm supposed to be using this glue first I'm trying to use it up so I can get it off my table and into the trash can so let's just finish Mm, this stuff smells good. <laughs> I know. I'm telling you. That's why people sniff glue. Because they put those. Mm, that smell in there. Those flowers. And it's not good for you. I am sure me sniffing this. Is not good for me. But man it smells good. Okay. So we're just going to. Put this on our. And I'm thinking, no, I know, I'm trying to decide what side of the pattern I want. I think I'm just going to do it this way. And if you don't want to ink, don't ink. And if you want to, um, don't want to have a little white border on there, then just measure and cut it exactly size. But I just thought I'd leave a little white showing on here for just a little bit of matting effect. All right, so we have that. Now to get our other part. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and cut it your five and a half size, but we need to cut it six inches long. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, let me get another piece of paper. Well, I should have. Uh, oh, that's an envelope. I'm bad. Oh, here's one, I think. Let's measure. See, all these white things look alike. All right, so here's my five and a half by six um, scoreboard. 
and then I'm going to um, score it at three fourths of an inch because that's um, the size that I want to wrap around. So three fourths of an inch. Let me make sure I'm in there. Yes. Let me bump this up a little. Okay. So three fourths and then three and three eighths. All right, now we're going to be cutting it, so if you want to um, be a, you know, because you need to cut this little piece out, but we need our piece to look like this, so we need to rotate, so our, um, this thingy is over on the side, because we want it to look like this, because we're going to score right here at two inches. at this, um, well, let me, I'm gonna have to flip it. I know it's a little confusing, but, so, can you see the, let me see, no. Anyway, we have our three quarter inch score here, our three and three eighth score here. So, we want it to look like this when we put it in there. And so, we. I need to go to two inches here so if you can, you know, maybe put your ruler on here just so you know where what line you're supposed to be on. So you can follow it to this first crease. We're only going to that first crease because that's where we're going to cut. I know, white on white is hard. But like I said, when, uh, when, you, when you go your two inches across, you want your biggest piece on the bottom because we're going to cut here and we need to make sure our three-quarter of an inch is on this side. All right, so let's just go ahead. We're going to fold this in so you can see that. And you you may have to trim um, when we do our pocket. You can see now we have our fold right here. We're going to cut our little two-inch um, piece out here that we've scored so we, we can see where we're cutting. Cause that's going to be our gift card pocket or if you're not given gift card you can put a tag in there you know make you can you can revamp this to um, however you need it if you're giving it to a, a fellow junk journal person now see where this goes this is going to bend so we need to take this and trim it off because we don't want it budding I say two hairs because we want it to be able to fold over smoothly without buckling here. So that way it lines up right on the inside of the crease. Because like I said, this is where our gift card is going to go in right there. All right. So. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I had a piece cut. Oh, there it is. All right. Let me just ink so I can see what I'm doing. I know. Or, or y'all can see what I'm doing. It's really for me to see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, but now you can kind of see our score lines and our cut. And then we're going to come in with um, our hole punch. Well, let's put our paper on. I know I'm getting out of hand. So now that we know our little thing, we're going to be it's six um, six across long five and a half tall because that's how tall your card is and then we're going to score it three quarters score it three and three eighths then you're going to come down and cut off two inches okay so let me put that somewhere so i know i'll lose it put it on top of my foil we'll be all right okay so we glued i don't know what i just did with my thing All right, not funny. Oh, there it is. So here's our card that we glued um, our piece of paper on. Then this is my other piece that I cut that we're gonna put on the front here. And um, like I said, I just measured how wide my, um, 
my piece of paper is here. I mean, every time you score and do, sometimes it's not exactly the same. So this is, I'm going to need to cut it at two and five, I mean two and a half, two and a half, and then we will leave it as that. So let's try not to chop that off. So two and a half, well, I'm going to do, I'm going to cover my two and a half inch line so it'll be a hair wider than two and a half. But that way it gives me the same little bit of border around. And then I'm, I think I'm going to trim just a hair more on the top. And then we'll ink around it. All right. So like I said, the biggest thing is getting your this cut, and then you just measure your papers for the this this side and that side. And then the you know the other one is just a regular eight and a half by eleven cut in half, like you do your regular greeting card size. And then if you work with stuff that has non-directional patterns. It's much easier if you're going to print it on front and back, but if you're just going to be cutting like this, then you can just, you know, cut the sizes that you need because it's all there. You don't have to worry. You cut it whichever direction you need it. Oh, and I need, I need to put a piece on here. Oh, I got a mess going on on the side. Okay, so let's see how, since we trim some off, this is going to be right under two and a half by two and a half by three and three eighths. All right, let me cut, cut some three and three eighths first. Put this in my pile that's getting big. And then under two and a half. So let me see if this is going to be enough or if I got to trim some more. Nope, that'll be good. All right, and let's just ink around here. I know I'm trying to ink on the side so I don't get crumbs on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump it all the way to the top so I can cut, um, punch my hole, which I've lost my, oh, because I did not put it where it belongs. Belongs. Where it belongs. Duh. Belongs. Yeah, belongs. <laughs> so that way my both of my um, hole punches match. So that means you just got to go back and do a little more inky here and an inky there and an ink on the side because I forgot to do that. And then we'll, we'll glue this on here. All right. Make sure I'm up top where everybody can see. Whoops. All right, so now we have our little gift ca gift card pouch. And this here is plain. Um, so, you know, if you want, you can write something on there or get some, um, some other paper and put it in there. So if you don't want it to be plain and white, then you can always cut, like we have this extra paper. So let's just go ahead and cut this and um, make it pretty. Let's, you know, let's make it difficult, two and a half, just because I have this laying around. So we will just put it on here. I do know that I might need to think on this one. I should be okay. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out real soon on something else that I w I'm trying to do. Cause you know I gotta make it difficult. 
but I have one. Well, we'll do the easy one first. Okay, we'll do this easy one first, and then we'll do the more difficult one next. So let's, we'll just do this. Put him on here. And then put a, put a little Merry Christmas in there just so they can see that. It's going to be on the inside too, but that way you don't have a naked white space. Oh my gosh, I know. And then we can go ahead and um, glue here and here down to go ahead and seal this one since we're going to use um, a fussy cut for this this one. And we'll do the snowman next, I promise. But let me just get him. We'll get this one done. And let me put it underneath the... Um, well, I guess I can hold it for just a minute. So I think that's all. Oh, yeah, we got to do the inside. Okay, so that's that was my thing. All right. Let's see. Then your little gift card goes right in there. And then if you wanted to, you know, add a, another little layer, you can put another little piece here and put another gift card on there or tuck dollars on there. So, I know with my grandkids, I always send a gift card and then some other cash. Because they always have to pay tax, you know. <laughs> and I feel bad. I want them to use their gift card and have to pay tax with it. So, I always send, you know, like if this is a $5 gift card, I put a dollar in there. And um, so, anyway. All right. So, that's that one. Now, this is our card. And let me just score this down because it's going to go on here like this. So that way the card kind of stands like that. So you'll see your little snowman on here. And then when you open it, your gift card is in there. So this one we're going to go ahead and glue. Well, I know. Let's just ink around here just in case when we put our inside in there, anything shows. And then we're going to glue this down like that. So we're going to put our glue on this side. But you want to make sure that when you glue it down that it folds over on this side. So we can open and close. Alright. So, I guess this is like a, 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 a funky Z fold, because, you know, it's, well, it's not even a Z. It's a something. Maybe that's a, it's a backwards Z. <laughs> it's a Candace Z. It's a lefty Z. Oh. Alright, so we have that, and like I said, our gift card will be going in there. And I just cut this little fussy cut from the this dreams etc. Um, oops, that one's not in it, but these are. But yeah, it's all I remember was dreams etc. Because I left my sticky note upstairs. Oh no, some kind of fussy cutout Christmas. And then yes, I had to bring had to bring my foil back in. So I'm just using the um, the plain silver side, even though this one's got some ink on it. But we're just going to put this down just because, you know, he's on some ice. And I thought the silver would go real pretty with all the blue and stuff. And it's just, you know, snowman-y. snowman e e e e Alright. And so I'm going to put him up here. And so I want this to be kind of there. And we'll gently rub it. And then we're going to glue him on here. I 
I thought he was cute. Oops, ran off the road. So, yep, once you get the one done, then, you know, you can make a few more and knock them out so it doesn't take so long. But, you know, your first one's always your longest. And you don't even have to put anything down, you know, underneath your little snowman or, I mean, there's just all these other, any other kind of little fussy cuts would be really cute on there. Ephemera pieces. But I know <laughs> I already got away from my inspiration. Well, I just wanted to do him first because he was he was easier. Okay, and then we're gonna go on the inside. Now, if you want it plain like that, that's fine. But I cut this that says you know a piece of digital that says Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna put it on the inside. And then, then we'll, you know, score it after we put it in here. I don't know. Maybe I just want two pieces of paper. Because if I glue this, you know how that when you do it and then you score it and then you open it up, you always get that crazy crease. But I, I want an extra piece of paper back there. And I'm kind of thinking, I know, I shouldn't have done it. But anyway, I'm kind of thinking I might just trim it on the inside and put this on there. And then put this one over there. And then maybe put, um, and why is that not straight? And then maybe put just a, a, a solid piece of paper in there to write on. Oh, man. I've done it now because that little piece bothered me. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sorry. All right, quit. Just, just, just stop. All right, woman. Put the inside on here. It's just a Christmas card. All right. So, where's my pencil? I know I've been buried all my stuff everywhere. Go ahead and trim it here just so I don't have to fight with bending it. And that's why, you know, I was like, oh, well, let's just um, do double print on the front and backs. And, oh, well, then, you know, it's fine and dandy, but don't, you can't use directional stuff because then um, you lose a bunch of paper. But, you know, if you don't mind wasting the paper and you can always use it for other stuff, then that's good, too. We'll, we'll do that on the next one. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right. Sorry, it took more than 30 minutes to do this. It's just because I want to cover my hinge up. Alright, we're straight and good. Oh, let me squish it down. Okay, and then we're going to, I know, let me go ahead and ink on the inside. I'm going to put this over here just to have a little added weight. And then, this is not straight. And then um, we'll come back. And put maybe a piece of blue paper or something on there just so you can write on there. Lord, 
Lord, I got a mess over here. All right, so who is not? Okay, I got to cut in the middle of there. Let's just ink around it. Glue that puppy down. You know, and I don't know if it's, you know, because it's cold or what, but usually when you stick your um, art glitter glue piece down, you have like a second to jiggle. My stuff's not jiggling at all. I mean, it's kind of, where well, you put it, you, that's where it goes. All right. So that's our little card. And let me just put this in here so you can see. So this is what they, they'd be getting. And it'll stand like that. You know, and after it goes to the mail, you know, and it gets squished, <laughs> it'll be flatter. Because <laughs> you know that mailman. Oh, but there he is. And then I wanted to put um, a vertical word down the side. From Oh, and if you're wondering, these are the papers that I'm using. It's... Um, Christmas tree digital paper and it's by Clamp with a K Clamp Design but I love those those are so pretty if you're looking for blues and browns and you know woodsy stuff that's a pretty little set okay so let me see we have that might be too big holidays see Michelle you should have did snowman But I don't have a snowman. That one's too. I need the big one. All right. So we're going to say holidays. And then let me just go kind of in the middle of, of here so it's not quite so wide. Right there. Holiday. Yep. I sing that Madonna song. <laughs> Celebrate. And then we'll put this on here. our little snowman oh I'm telling you you used to get a minute not a whole minute but at least five seconds shoot you don't even get one second now all right so that's our little thing and then of course I want to come and put some, um, well, I'm going to have to put a paper clip on here. There we go. To hold it down so I can do some, some stuff to it. So I want to go ahead and put some, oh. I guess I'll put some black glitter glue on his, on these for his little coal dots. Those would be pretty. That way you can have a little more shine with our snowflakes. I mean our foil. <laughs> it's something's down there. I don't know what it is. Oh, let's see. Can I see? I got a big snowflake. 
do, 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 do. We have some festive berries for his his hat, his hollies. So we can just do that a little bit. Let's see. I think I want to put some some sparkle over here. Yep, got some jingle bells. I should jingle bell every um, when I start a Christmas project. That's why I got them. And then we'll just put some tulip glitter over here. in the middle of the snowflakes to give a little more sparkle and then I think I'm going to come over here and put some over there alright and then I know I'm about to overkill it he needs it's just because this is so bright I need some here, we'll put some, some blue down here. I know I'm going to have to tap it down. That was um, Wedgwood Blue. My little no Nouveau drops. Alright, let me... tap those down all right now I'm going to set aside let it dry and then I'm gonna put you on pause and I will be back in a little bit hi guys okay I'm back sorry I had to go eat breakfast I was trying to get this done and put up early because I didn't do it last night. Anyway, I'm sorry. This is a late one. And oops. All right. So on this one, we did, you know, I, I cut it the exact same as we did the other one. And then on here, I just took that actually this two inch that we, you know, off cut and turned into an extra pocket just so you can see what was going on. And then if you wonder, I have some holes right here because I'm going to string something through it. All right, so let me, oh, I've moved my stuff on myself. Oh my gosh. It's difficult enough. I don't need to be moving stuff around. All right, let me just ink around here and see if I can't get this, the second one done and then I'll show you the first one because it's all dry. But... Okay. Now, let me see. <laughs> All right. I know. I shouldn't have stopped because then I forgot what I was doing. So we're going to glue this one on this side. And then these are our bright and shiny snowman parts. So I rounded the edges so he looks like one of those ice cube snowmans. <laughs> so that's what I did with them. Okay, now I don't want to glue this on yet because I want to string my sorry silk because this is going to be his little um, scarf. So let's, I don't know. Yep, I think I'm going to have to glue this on first and then re-poke there. All right, so just because I, I thought about it doesn't mean it's going to work. So fingers crossed, y'all, that this is going to work. So we're going to glue our, our snowman ice cube bottoms on. And then we will come back in and repoke his little holes. 
And the only reason why I have that is because this I did this on the first one and I punched it with the little hole puncher. But then, I mean, my whole, if I wouldn't have had my fold as wide, if I would have only did a half of an inch, I could have did it. But since this is three quarters, I have my little hole and that's how my plan was. So I had to rethink how to put this little thing in. So I'm just using my pokey tool and, and pokeyed some holes in it. All right, so we're gonna, where's my, hold on. Let me get my foam. <laughs> it makes life a lot easier. Okay, yeah, I found that when I was cleaning. Oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, there you are. Didn't find that gold stuff, but I found some foam. <laughs> okay, so now, thinking, no, I think I'll be okay. All right, um, but I want, I'm using a little needle holder, a threader, so I can, Pull my sorry silk through. I'm hoping that I can pull it through without ripping my. Needle threader. To pieces like you know I've done before see oh my gosh I'm about to make my holes bigger. Talk on it. Let's see let me get. I know, now I'm wasting time. Ouch. Oh, darn it. See, never clean. Leave your junk where it is, You so that way you can find it, because, oh my gosh, I sh I, ow, poke my finger. All right. Well, I'll, let me put you on hold. I have to find a tool. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I found, well, not what I was looking for, but close enough. Good grief. Now I've made a mess. Messer. So I've got my original all out. There it is. Oh, my God. All right. I just need some bigger holes to pull this lace through. I mean, sorry, silk through. Cause I did not want to tear up my little thread puller. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, now I'm making it ugly. I'll smoosh it down after we pull this through. Yep, much better. <laughs> Bigger holes is definitely what you need. All right, so you just want to make it um, flat in the back, so that way when we glue this on here, we don't have any problems sticking our card in there. I mean, it gives a little bit of stuff, but I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there and trim some of these wild hairs of it. Oops, I left my glue out. All right. Just because I wanted him to have a scarf. <laughs> and I was trying not to have to cut it out of paper to make it easier. But no, I made it harder. Imagine that. -er. Okay, we're going to glue his head on here. All right. 
and you just don't want your um, head to poke over too much because if you are going to stick this in a oops I guess I should get an envelope out I thought I had there he is I'm like I know I had one you want to make sure it's going to go inside your envelope and you don't really have that much more give so I mean just a, a hair over the top um, works just fine okay so now let me tie his stinking scarf <laughs> oh since it's given me some grief already I just wanted him to have a scarf hanging I know we might have to trim it <sighs> since it's warm outside again stinking ladybugs are swarming oh my gosh all right I might have to I know I have to fiddle this with my on my own time but that one's too loose there all right anyway now some some nice yarn would be fine <laughs> a paper thing would be good too all right so now let's assemble this bad boy can we have a card now that we have our um, sorry silk in there we can glue this down because now see just gluing that little bit down well okay let me just glue a little more I will feel better and yeah it's gonna show through here but it's gonna be hidden underneath the um, the little thumb holey thing oops I can feel it squishing out so I don't want it to glue to my thumb holey thing <sighs> come on you see my time I hope that's I don't know I'm gonna have to get a better egg timer minute timer thingy jiggy okay and we are inked all right let me just glue around the edges And seal that one up with our with my seal meal fingers <laughs> oh I wish my finger was straight anyway okay All right and then we're gonna attach this to our card that attached and then this is going to be oops I did not ink around here this is going to be your writing the writing page on this one and then we're going to glue some pretty paper on there in just a minute and then put a little more paper trim on it so it matches all right I just printed it so we're gonna put um, we're gonna cut this paper and put it on here in right under five and a half. Oh my gosh. Right under five and a half. No. Then, yeah, I'm still going to have to trim that a bit, but I'd rather cut off not enough than too much. Let's trim this on here. And then I need to take just a hair off the bottom. Like I said, if you don't want to ink, don't ink, but I know. I'm an inker. I'm a stinker and an inker, and I need to take a little more off my topper. So I guess I needed two hairs, not one. And it's just to stiffen this 65-pound um, up, because that's what most people have, a 65-pound. Now, if you have the 110 and, um, you know... You wouldn't have to do all this extra stuff 
unless you can't run it through your um, printer. But uh, depending on what paper brand it is, like the one, I think it's Georgia Pacific that you get from um, what you think you Walmart. It says it's 110, uh, but it's not as thick as the other, like Recollections 110, because theirs is really thick. I cannot run that through my printer, but I can run the the other cardstock through there, the heavy cardstock from Walmart, and they claim they're 110, but I don't think they're 110. Okay. So we have that side. And then I, well, I did. I, 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 I've lost them. There they are. I went and cut, oh, darn it, two pieces of this paper. I'm going to put one on top here and one down below. I don't know, maybe I just want one. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. That might be just too, too stinking busy. I think just down here would be good. All right. Hello. Hello, Dolly. Speaking of Dolly, I have to contact a friend of ours. We just got their Christmas card. And every year they always do it with their little animals and stuff on there. And they didn't have their Dolly on there this year. Their dog. And uh, But they had their three cats and then their new dog. But I can't believe they took Dolly out. And then they have another. I don't remember who their other Lisbon Hound is. I forget its name. But I don't know. Maybe they're just picturing their their three new people this year. Their new their new pets. But yeah, they have two mini donkeys. Oh my gosh, they're the cutest things in the world. Um, they have Milo, who's regular, you know, donkey color. Um, you know that kind of sably brown with the little white fuzzies and stuff and then there's cowboy who's like a, a patchwork donkey oh my gosh and they're, they're so cute and then she brings them um well milo they only like milo because he looks more like the original donkey from the um, manger scene so the catholic church here always ask her to bring the um, donkey up to um for the little Nativity, live nativity set they do. So this is what this one is looking like. Ooh. Oh, no. How did I get glue on here? Well, I, I don't know if I can save that. I gooshed out somewhere. Doggone it. Well, I'll be remaking this one. This is definitely uh, my sample. I don't know how I got that much glue that came out on there. But anyway, shoot. And I don't mean shoot, but I'm saying shoot. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to decorate him. Even though he's, I've done messed him up, we're still going to pretty him up. I'll have to, oh, like I said, my grandkids won't mind. They throw these things in the trash can half the time anyway. Where's my inspiration now that I've messed up? Okay, so I'm going to make him a, a nose. Corn cob nose. <laughs> it, it's textured. <laughs> it's like a linen paper or something, but oh well. I'm singing Frosty's Snowman in my head. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're going to. Won't want his nose to go off of his little face because then he'll get smushed. Or I'll just glue him down on something else. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Doggone it. Urgh. Okay. All right, so now. Well, I'm going to run over. Hold on, let me. I'm just going to put some Nouveau drops and stuff on here. And then I'll come right back and show you them, okay? Hold on. Hey, guys. Okay. So here is our finished um, first little snowman. 
I put a silver snowflake on him, put the blue um, Nuvo drops. We got the iridescent, um, let me see if I can get up here. I know the silver foil is going to be a little, but there you go. You can see the iridescent tulip all on there. And then it opens up, and here's where you put your gift card in here. And then this is the inside. I just put some light blue so you can write on, you know, any color. But writing on it with um, white would be really pretty. And so that's this little card that stands up. A backwards Z. <laughs> so that's that one. Now here's the other one. But it's not quite dry. I know it's been an hour. But these glitter ones are not drying. The Nuvo drops have dried. But his eyeballs and little coal hasn't. I guess it's this plastic on there. So it's going to take a little bit for it to dry. But here's this one. And I put some blue um, foil-like snowflakes on there. And then he opens up. And that's the double pocket in there. And then, I know i got to be careful. I don't mess up those dots while they're drying. And then here's the inside. So you can write on this side. And... Um, and there's the back and so he stands up whoa like that also and so that's that little one with all that iridescent tablecloth <laughs> all right guys I hope you enjoyed this one sorry it went over a little bit um, but it, it really is really something cute that if you wanted to you know decorate or um, you know to make for little gift card holders for for anybody that you want to put, you know, mail, because, you know, like I said, these do go fit in the mail and all that good stuff, and then they stand up that, you know, be cute for them to be able to display them, all that good stuff. All right, so thanks for sharing some of your time with me. Thanks for sharing some of your day with me. Um, sorry that this is a, a late posting. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to get ahead of, I'm going to get on the program. All right, and I will see y'all tomorrow in the next video. So thanks for your love. Thanks for your support. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for subscribing and, and, and everything and, and being with me. I really, truly love it and enjoy it. And thank y'all so much. So here's some kisses and lots of love. So this little Frosty says love and that little Frosty says love. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.